Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at kind of a unique thing. This isn't quite an action figure. It is of Ness from Mother 2, or Earthbound, or Smash Brothers, as you might guess. That is why I have it. It is not an action figure. It is from Ben Presto, and it is very hard to come by. But I did want to let you guys know that it exists. If you're trying to flesh out your Smash Brothers collection like I am, you might want to try to track this down. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands, not counting the green base, because you can remove it, about 11 centimeters, which makes him pretty close to, let's say, four and a quarter inches. It's right around there. He's probably just a touch taller than that. So it fits in nicely with the Smash Brothers collection if you're using all of the figures that most people are using, like Figma, SH Figure Arts, World of Nintendo. You'll be able to get a pretty good spread of Smash characters in that range. And that's why I got this guy. Now, uh, question of the day, how much do you, you guys want somebody to get a Smash Brothers Ultimate license? I don't know how that would work. There'd have to be some strings being pulled, but boy, would that be awesome. Even if it's like a lower end World of Nintendo type thing, I want it. Give me all the characters in scale. Uh, anyway, this figure was um, some kind of vending machine type thing only found in Japan. It was never stateside, never really stateside, so you have to track it down and it's kind of a difficult thing because there's this one and there's another one that looks just like it, but it's about this big. So the trick to finding this one, and we'll talk about the figure in a second, but the trick to finding it is you want the one that has the little marking right here, the Nintendo thing, right there. If it's up here, it's the small one, I believe. Um, I can't say for sure because I never owned the small one, but you can see the marking right here, and I have the right size. So I'm assuming I'm right about that. And that's how I decided to buy this one, and it, it worked out. But there's a smaller version, and you'll see the marking up here in the corner. This one's right here. Now this is available on eBay relatively regularly. I sh well, I shouldn't say that. It's not that impossible to find. It is almost impossible to find at a good price. If you do want to find it at a good price, you're going to have to know how to work your way around some websites for Japanese collector shops and things like that. I don't want to spoil any um, people who already have their fingers in those in those pies because that would be that would be unfortunate for them. So I'm going to let you guys figure out your own way to find them so that everybody has a fair playing field. But that's how I got this, and it was not anywhere near the expensive prices that you find it on eBay for. Okay, so it is painted fairly well. Not like super duper, but good enough. It is only Ness after all, so there's not like a whole ton of paint going on there. I mean, it is all painted, but it's not like a lot of detail work. It's clean enough. You can see the mouth is good. The line work along the different colors, that's all good. The hair is all right. Shirt's not perfect, but it's close enough. The buckles are a little questionable. That one's very rectangular. This one's almost square. Skin tone's nice and clean though. No problems there. Paint's nice and flat, looks good. The shoes are painted well. I'm happy with that. Backpack looks all right. But yeah, it's not an action figure, which is unfortunate, but it will fit on my shelf and look like an action figure. And the cool thing is it does come in pieces. The head actually comes disconnected. Mine's on right now. But this is also a separate piece. And if you want, you can just take that off and stick them on the shelf with the rest of the figures. And he's, he can stand up. And now it looks like you have a nice action figure with your Smash Brothers collection. And that's it. It doesn't articulate. It doesn't do anything. It is made. I want to just be clear for you guys to look it up. It's made by Ban Presto. If you type in Ban Presto Ness, you'll find it. You'll find this one and these other ones. There's small ones and some other different things. But that's what you'll find. And they do have other characters too for those of you who are big into Mother 2. But obviously this is going to... I'm guessing most people are, are going to want Ness. This is the one people are going to want. And like I said, it's definitely good enough. It's not like an impressive piece, but it will fill a spot. And it's not something that most people have, so it's kind of fun to have in the collection just as kind of a conversation starter type thing. So I recommend it. Good luck finding it. I don't want to give anybody an unfair advantage by telling them where I got mine. Uh, you guys can figure it out. I found it. You can too. There it is. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.